Hello my night wolves and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're here with Disney Dreamlight the Valley but before we jump in I wanted to address something in my video yesterday I was updating you guys on my life and how I've been sick and some other stuff if you did not see that video go and check out yesterday's video but I said that I didn't record while sick I lied. I forgot about these videos that I recorded. I was going through my recording folder and I found out I did record and totally forgot about them. So in this video I am sick but I will edit out all my coughing because I have like a terrible cough. Anyways, that is it. I just wanted to tell you that I lied and I did record while I was sick. Anyways, continue on watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There has been another update and I haven't even caught up with the other updates. I am overwhelmed. Also, I might sound a little funny because I am sick. Well, I am getting over it. <clears throat> It just hasn't completely left my body, but I really want to record because they just added Mulan! Mulan, oh my god. Mulan is my favorite Disney princess before Frozen came. I love Elsa, Elsa, and Anna. Mulan has the most specialist place in my heart, and I'm just like, oh! So I'm so excited for this update. But more energy, more rewards. Eat cooked meals to fill the bar with yellow energy. Yes, that's how I've been doing it. Find more rare resources with your, your full... Oh, so if you eat... Oh, that's so cool. So if you eat food, you can find more resources. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Eat cooked meals to fill the bar with yellow energy. Yellow energy lets you glide around your valley. Yes. <clears throat> I have been knowing this. As you can tell, I have been on. I got on... I don't remember why I got on. But I got on and because my girl is changed. I am just like Anna. <laughs> Check my bail box because we got some people sending us stuff. Why did the uh, envelope lose its fight? Because it was licked. <laughs> Just a nice little joke for you. Also, happen to notice you might need a little more storage around here. So Sully and I scrounged up the stuff to build a brand new chest. Well, mostly. We still gotta add the dream light. We weren't sure where to find that stuff. Anyways, enjoy. So Sully and Mike sent me some stuff. A special treat just for you. <clears throat> Alicia, I've seen you running around the valley lately and you must be getting awfully hungry. I decided to make you a pie, but then I couldn't what kind of pie to make you, so I thought I'd give you all the ingredients to, you need to let you decide. Never forget, you're special to all of us. Oh, Minnie. I have thoughts. Alicia, are you feeling run down? I couldn't help but notice the village was looking a little tired. Tired, dear. I am concerned. I thought perhaps you could l liven things up with some flower beds. Of course, you'll have to pick the blossoms, but I can't do everything around here, can I? Thanks, Mother Gotho. For the beach, Alicia, I thought it could be nice to have a fire bowl made of granite on the beach. A little easier to keep good than a campfire. Okay. Hola Alicia, I have a super fun project idea for you. Sometimes I think my cousin Antonio would approve of why not add some bird feeders around the village to feed our favorite friends. I include some supplies in case you think this is a good idea. I'm sure whatever you use them for, it'll be great. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, let me empty out my inventory. Oh yeah, this is why I was on. 
So I ended up upgrading my house. Well, not upgrading, but like changing around my house. So I got on to change some stuff around. Um, the house looks a lot more empty since I did this. I don't know how I like it. I don't really like it. Because the other place it felt more like, like I had more going on. So it felt like I was living here. Now it feels like I don't even live here. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, I changed up that. I did not change this. This is all the same. So I do want to make some of the stuff that the villagers are suggesting. Because, like, obviously they're great suggestions. So I'm going to make a little list in my phone. So I took a lot of people's uh, advice on what to add to the village. So I made a list of things that we could well I can do or we can do I don't know if I'll do it on camera or off camera oh my god it's been forever since I've been on I emptied out my inventory I forgot to get the food to put it back in my inventory oh yeah I did connect everything here to each other so everyone is on a path so Remy's house is on a path and so is his restaurant. So, you know, so they're all on a path. And then this is on a path. That's on a path. And then Mickey's house is on a path over here. Which I did move his house. And then we have the clock tower. The clock tower, the clock. Uh, and then, of course, my place over here. What did we get? Oh, pants. Oh, that's so cool. They show you what you got on you. That's so cool. Okay, so we got pants. Nice. Speaking of which, I actually want to change my outfit. Okay, I changed up my look. <laughs> okay, so here is... The new star path. I'm super excited. Of course, I don't have moonstones. Go fishing 15 times. Complete regular duties. Banish the forgetting, which I've done or doing. Oh my gosh. They got Mulan inspired tools. Okay, I did some shopping. Hi, Evie. I also got some moonstones, so I did get these because I really want all the stuff. Give me all the stuff. We have to do some duties. We gotta go fishing. Also, we got quest, which Remy has one for us. Unlock characters Anna, Donald Duck, Maribel, Elsa, Scar, the Fairy Godmother, Stitch, Olaf, Nala, Ariel, Simba. Okay, that's a long list. Remy has new quests available. Go talk to him. Hello. Can I talk to you? Alicia, you know you're getting to be a pretty incredible chef. Feel like you're ready for a challenge? Definitely. Great. I was thinking we could open up some new culinary possibilities by testing your cooking skills each day. <laughs> And since you're a pro now, I won't be giving you the recipes first. You'll have to figure them out yourself. Great. Don't worry. I'm not asking you to work for free. If this works, you'll be... We'll both get rewarded. What do you say, Alicia? Yes, chef. <laughs> That's great. Now, before we get started, feast your eyes on this. It's a old chez rummy menu i found it in the stock room nice i wonder what sort of special ingredients grow here okay a mysterious menu that remy found in the basement of his restaurant i really like this setup like what Hello. 
Well, did you see that, Alicia? When you opened up the menu, all these memories started rushing back. Shaz Remy, Shaz Remy used to have a whole seating area around it with tons of tables and chairs and an incredible statue. I knew it. I knew something was missing from the restaurant. That seating area looks amazing. Looks like a lot of work to rebuild. What happened to all that stuff? That, see, yeah. It was. I remember it was all made out of special extra shiny and durable metal called rough rot iron? I don't know. Mr. McDuck helped me order it, but it cost a whole lot of star coins. Guess what are we gonna do for the cooking challenge? Shaz Rami won't be able to make enough star coins to make something as impressive as that seating area by just serving folks in the restaurant. We need to start taking mobile orders. Mobile orders? Interesting. Ooh, great idea. Sounds like this will be tough. I hope I'll get tips for this. Oh, great idea. Thanks. My cooking may be based on tradition, but I'm all about in invitation, in innovation too. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we need to start by getting the word out. Why don't you make some free samples? deliveries around the village and remember this is a challenge of all your culinary skills so you'll have to figure out the recipes yourself good luck uh, thanks. thanks okay bring some something made with slush ice to Elsa bring a dessert to Belle get a meal made with fish for Nala bring a five-star meal to Ariel okay I know a lot of ingredients, so this should be easy. Okay, so something made with slush ice. Ooh, cool. Coconut ice cream. Okay. Chocolate. Waffle. Coconut cake. Mm hmm. Okay, something with slush ice, a dessert for Belle, being a meal made with fish to Nala, which we got two meals with fish, but one is a five star and the other one is just three. Oh, Elsa, actually, come here. And you, Belle. What? Everyone's all coming to me. Okay. So something with slush ice for you, which I did this for you. Hello, my friend. Oh, what's this? It looks delicious. An icy treat just for you. It's a little free sample. Remy is opening up a delivery service in the village. He wants everyone to know about it. You could order chocolate for Anna every day. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of chocolate. This Remy delivery service could be dangerous. Thank you, Alicia. Dangerous? i be sure to tell Anna and Kristoff. Did she say dangerous or interesting? I don't know. I... <clears throat> Anyways. Uh here you go. Hello. This smells amazing. What is it? It's a little taste of village cuisine featuring fish. Robbie wanted me to let you know that he's doing Food delivery now. Formist? Lion representative, we were hoping you could spread the word. I'd be happy to. I'm just not sure how much Remy's food is really good for lions. Uh -huh. But this does smell excellent. Meeting someone like Goodbye. You gives me and I did see Belle at one point. Hello. Ah, there she is. Hello. Um, here you go. Oh, Alicia, this dessert looks 
almost as good as the one that staff made me for me at the Beast Castle. What's the special occasion? Remy is starting a service in the village for special deliveries. You could order a special dinner for you in the Beast. That's a wonderful idea. I'll be sure to order something soon. Now, if only we could get some sort of service like this in the village for books. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, and then Ariel. Ah, she's over here. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Um, here you go. I've never seen this before, Alicia. This is the recipe from the human world, one of our finest. Remy is starting a delivery service in the village and wants me to hand out some free samples to spread the word. We hope you enjoy a little taste of surface dweller food. It's almost a shame to eat it. It looks so beautiful. Thank you, Alicia. Okay. Return to Remy. Ah, he's right there. Nice work, Alicia. And to say thanks, I got something for you. It's... Oh, the iron. What could I make with this? Am I supposed to eat this? Is it okay if I sell it? Uh, yeah. So many great things. You can use it to start rebuilding the seating area around Shed's Remy if you like. Yeah. Chairs, tables, a fence, paths, everything that giant statue that used to be outside. And hey, if you run out of wrought iron, just come back and see me. I have one special delivery for you every day. and. I'll keep ordering raw iron from Mr. McDuck to give it to you each time you finish a delivery. <clears throat> I'd love to see you try building something with that raw iron. No no time like the present, right? You're always welcome at my restaurant. Okay. Iron ingot. Iron ingot. What? Rot iron. Oh. Just so you couldn't confuse the two, you should make it so what it has like rot iron ingot instead of iron ingot. But anyways, moving on. So we need to make some furniture. I made a chair. I made a single chair. I made a chair. Where is Remy? Okay. Could I talk to you? Woo! Chess Remy is looking better already, Alicia. Nice job. Just remember if you're looking for a cooking challenge or to make the village look even nicer with some special furniture. Just come talk to me every day. Great job. Bon appetit. Nice. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to save up on the iron and eventually make the rest of the stuff. So we're going to have to talk to Remy every single day. I guess they kind of do look different because this one's darker and this one's lighter. Okay, so the new update obviously is adding Mulan and Mushu. So that means I think we got a new door. Whoa, what is that? Pick up. Okay. Yes, we did. We got a new door. Okay. Hold on. There's something... Is there, like, memories around here? Oh, 
Huh. It's another one. Okay, so that means I got the same... Okay, anyways, let's go back to this door, shall we? Well, hello! Yes! How marvelous! Pleasant morning to you! Yes! Oh! <gasps> He did not seem very happy. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, anyways, let's go and I guess find Mushu. Hello, Mushu. Well, look who it is. Whoa, 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 who are you? Me, I am Alicia. Nice to meet you. Well, Alicia. How'd you find this training camp? It's supposed to be hidden. Secret. Incognito. Yes, I get it. You're a spy. I'm not a spy. Would a spy walk right into your camp? That's exactly what a spy would say. I suppose I'm not... Ha ha ha. Quite... Quiet spy. I know you're a spy because I have a list of the... Recruits were supposed to train and wait, what's that? That's a there's a name at the bottom of the list. It's Smudge, but it could be Alicia. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. okay. You're not a spy, but you're late. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. There seems to be a little misunderstanding. You're not the boss of me. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to be so formal. I'm just making sure we respect the... Dokrom of the setting. I know you defender types just love your protocol. By the way, I'm Mushu. Nice to meet you, Alicia. Now, I'll go back to calling you recruit. Just play along. You'll be great. Ahem. So, Recruit, you missed the Battle of the Rice Cauldron that marked the end of training. And since you're extremely late, you're gonna clean up the camp. Uh, sure, I can clean up the camp. Good, don't take too long, okay? Now start breaking up the rocks and digging up the rice spills. Oh, and don't forget to flip over the cauldron. We'll catch up later. Okay. okay. I was trying to figure out how it told me to dig up the rice thing and stuff, but it didn't show that I could interact with it, so I was confused on what I was supposed to be doing. But I figured it out. It should just go over, even though it doesn't say you can interact with it, and just dig. chest I found a chest what did we get ooh nice got some spears and stuff
Okay. I did everything that needed to be done. Let's go talk to Mushu. You just say the word Excellent work, I Alicia. I mean, recruit. Now we can't start your real training until you're properly dressed. There should be a uniform for you around here somewhere. Well, parts of it, anyway. What do you mean, parts? Oh, I think the kids, I mean the recruit recruits, were in a hurry to get home and forgot to turn in their uniforms. Don't worry, everything's clean. You just gotta look around for different pieces. Sounds simple enough. Huh. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about that. You're gonna have to look all over the camp and outside it too. Make sure you find shoes, socks, a pair of pants, and a shirt. Once you find everything, bring them back to me. Okay. I'm sure tiny pants now. Okay, so I finally found the rest of the outfit, so let's go talk to Mushu and tell him that we found it. Here you go. Well, look who it is. Okay, alright. Take these, put them on. So I changed up my look. Let's, let's see if the shoe likes it let's take a look at you recruit right. hey that that is you know what it's actually nice you look great alicia yeah. now i hope you're ready for your next challenge because it's a doozy you're gonna prepare mulan's breakfast that's a great that's great i love cooking then you'll have lots of fun with this this breakfast is my own personal creation, designed to give you energy and put a smile on your face. Here's the recipe. I already have it, but thank you. I know exactly what it is. Once you made it, just ring the gong next to Milan's tent. The girl was flat out exhausted after training all those re recruits, so I let her sleep a little longer. You'll find all the ingredients you need in camp over by the cauldron. Now get to it. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I should read this even though I got it. Okay, so we need rice, eggs, mushroom, garlic, and ginger. So everything on this table. Okay.
Okay, let's go make the breakfast for Mulan. Okay. Interact. Morning, sunshine. Hi. Morning. Here's your breakfast. Here you go. Here's your breakfast. Oh, this is a surprise. I didn't expect anyone else to be here. But Mushu assured me you're a late recruit and not a spy, which is, I'm sure is a conclusion he jumped to. Anyways, welcome to our training camp. And thanks for the breakfast. It looks delicious. Now we've got a lot of work ahead of us. I hope you're ready. Born ready. I might be. And I feel overwhelmed already. Born ready. Great. Enthusiasm is always welcomed. You have two main things to accomplish. Training you and making sure our defense are ready to for anything. Uh -huh. Mushu is in charge of bolstering our defense and I'll be your training guide. You can start by helping Mushu while I eat my breakfast. I'll be ready and <clears throat> I'll be ready to start in just a bit. Okay. Goodbye. Oh my god, look at him go. <laughs> Let's get to show on the road. Okay, okay. I'm gonna drop the Sergeant Mushu stuff. Sergeant Mushu stuff so we can just talk. Because I'm telling you, Alicia, we have a lot to do. We gotta come up with a defense system that'll make any invaders who would attack China turn around and a scram. <clears throat> do you have any idea of what you want to do? I don't. See, I'm more of a personal guardian and not so much uh, an all of China guardian. I want something that'll strike fear in the mind of any invader and pride in the heart of any defender. Something real impressive. Why not, why not a dragon army of statues with you as the model? You're fierce enough. <clears throat> True, I am fierce. Yeah. Let's make the, let me think. Yes, a dragon army is perfect. And it won't be that hard. We can find everything we need right here. Some firewood as a, some firewood as a combustible. Huh. Some camp and buckets of water to make the dragon statue. Plus, I saw some red spider lilies and chrysanthemums that make pretty nice paint. It's just too bad the dragons won't breathe fire like I do. You know, I might be able to help with that. You could? That would be amazing. Incredible epic. Wait, how are you going to do that? Let's just say I have a magic touch and something called Dream Shards. All you'll have to do is breathe fire on the statues when they're done. Uh, well, look at you. Everything's under control. Recruit, I'm impressed. How long do you need me to pose to capture my likeness for these things? Three hours? Five? Just a couple of seconds. What? I'm just... I'm going to take a picture of you, Mushu. I've got this little machine to make instant portraits. I'll show you. See ya. Um, how do I crouch? <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. I took a picture of Mushu.
we got everything, so let's go and make these dragon statues. Okay, where do I make the dragon statues? Oh, I forgot something. That's why I'm like, why can't I make the thing? I have to get camp mud. Oops. <laughs> so I didn't get everything. My bad. Yes. Okay, now I got everything. Now we can craft the dragon. Let's craft these dragons. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Alicia, those dragon statues are phenomenal. You are the you are one talented artist. You're you're too kind. I did my best. Those old things. Pfft, I did my best. Okay. Well, your best is great. They look just like me. I know, no, and I know they'll look even more fierce, fierce, fierce once they've been fired. You just need to put the on fire dragon statues and the firewood in the kiln, then I'll light it up. Okay. Okay, the kiln's ready, the dragon statues and firewood are inside. We are good to go. Thanks for your help, Alicia. Now it's time to get fired up. No, really. I'm gonna breathe fire now. Stand back. It's getting nice and toasty. Now we just have to wait. I can't wait to see the final results. Anything else I can help with? Ah. Nope, I'm all set. But this is gonna take a while. Why don't you go see Mulan and finish your training while these things fire? Got it. We'll Hello. Looks like you're ready to begin training. How are you feeling about it? Eager to start. Very anxious ab about the whole thing. Bring it on. This will be easy. Eager to start. Okay. That's the spirit. Now I want you to complete three exercising. Fishing, brick breaking, and orienteering? I don't know. How will those train me into a defender? Well, by catching a lot of fish, you'll learn the versities of patience and precision. precision. <laughs> plus, I'll give. Plus, it'll give us food. <laughs> Brick breaking builds strength, and orienteering will challenge your endurance. So you can complete these challenges in any order. Report back to me when you're finished. Okay. Bye. Uh. Wee bonk. So should I break all of them? I love how we're breaking them, but not breaking them like we're supposed to. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Broke those. Got a fan. Nice. Uh, let's do some fission.
Memory, memory, I got a memory and it turned into a money. <laughs> I haven't sung that song in a while. <laughs> Okay, so I finished fishing, but nothing, it didn't check it off, so I'm confused on what they want me to do, because I don't see any other places to fish. Okay, so every time you finish a task, I guess you have to go back to Mulan and let her know. I'm glad you, I'm glad, I'm so glad you came to find me. Uh, fishing. Whoa, that's a lot of fish. Congratulations, Alicia. Thank you. Thanks to you, nobody will go hungry for a while. Actually, could you add the fish to the camp soup pot? It'll be a great addition to the broth. Gotta go. Bye. Uh, okay. Where's the soup pot? Interact. Okay. There, there we go. That's finished. Endurance training was definitely not my favorite at first, but it's important. As defenders, sometimes we have to walk a long distance with heavy packs on our backs. We also need to know how to navigate the world around us in case we find ourselves separated from the group. Sounds exciting. Sounds like a lot. Don't worry. I'm not going to ask you to start marching right away. I don't let new recruits just wander in the wilderness. I design a challenge here in camp. Follow me. <clears throat> it's always Welcome to the training maze. Before you start, I need to give you something. Here. What is that? Training weights. They're roughly the weight of your pack when you walk. I hope you didn't expect to walk through the maze carrying nothing. That would would have been much too easy. I'm Prepared for anything. Thinking like a defender already. I like them. Put the weights on, open the door, and come talk to me. I'll explain the rest of your goals for this experience then. Goodbye. Okay, uh... Okay. Uh, interact. Boop, boop. Remove. Okay, anyways. Uh -huh. You're almost ready. Now your goal is to find your way through the training maze while carrying the training weights. Mm -hmm. But it's not just about carrying your back and finding your way you also need to be aware of all your surroundings down to the smallest stone which is why i'm going to hide some pebbles in here find them all then meet me at the flag inside the maze okay give me a moment to set everything up and then you can start okay go i'm waiting for you near the flag Okay. Okay. Oh. There you go. Well, 
What are these? Where did you find them, Alicia? Here and there during my training. Do you know what they are? I do. That's one of the fans I had when I helped save the Imperial Emperor. And that's one of the circular weights I trained with. It helped me show Captain Shang I was serious about being a soldier. And Mushu used the bamboo snorkel when he tried to help me with fishing. So many memories. You're right, and good memories too. I'd be honored if you'd display them in your house. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Here, Alicia. It'd be a fun reminder that you and I share the same kind of training. It's always great talking to you. It's so good Hi. to see you. Uh... I guess I didn't find all the pebbles. I thought I found them all. But I guess not. It definitely looks like I found them all. Oh, nope. There are some behind this door. Okay, well, now I got, I think, all the pebbles. I can go back. Hello. There you go. Congratulations, you've navigated the maze and found all the pebbles. That tells me you have the necessary endurance and skills to be a valuable defender. Now all you need is a walking stone song. Trust me, it'll help pass the time. Oh. Come on, let's get out of this maze. Gotta go. Bye. Okay, Ulan. Alicia, I'm impressed. You completed every ex exercise bravely and skillfully. These challenges weren't just to train you, though. They also help determine where you'll be most useful. What was your favorite exercise. I like them all. I do have a favorite. I enjoy intellectual challenges more than physical ones. I do have a favorite. Really? Which one? Fishing. The brick breaking one. Huh? I think I really like the brick breaking one break break in one because I just use my pickaxe for that one. You like to rely on your strength. That might mean you're Particularly suited to frontline defense. Good to know. Now, you still have to help Mushu with his defense plan. You should go talk to him. Congratulations <laughs> again, Alicia. You did really well. I knew you could do it. Yay! Woo! You just say the word and I'm there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm small, but I am mighty. Got it? Um. We just have to wait. Okay, yes. So long. Wait for the dra wait for the four batches of dragon statues to be fired. Okay, but like how much longer is this gonna take? Oh look at all of them! They're so cute. Like what? Look at that one, that one's really tiny and then they're they're like tiny and then some are big. That's cool. Okay, so I guess they're almost done because this one is the only one that hasn't been finished. <clears throat> waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, they are finally done. Let's talk to Mushu. Hello. No. Goodbye. You are in the presence. Look at them. Him. They're perfect. Right. No in. No invader will dare across in front of these fierce guardians. Now I just need to put them in their crates and we'll be ready to send them all over China. Hey, no. Okay. Oh. What? Hap? 
happen? blocking the road I repeat yep I see that you'll hurt yourself if you try to move all these alone Mushu why don't you go check on your dragon statues Alicia and I will figure this out okay okay you're right but I'm trusting you two to find a way to save the day don't worry we got this Looks like we have a lot of work ahead of us, Alicia. Oh. I didn't want to worry Mushu, but this landslide, it's worse than I thought. I'm here. We'll fix it together. <laughs> right. Let's get to it. The first order of business is to clear the road and the river of the debris from the landslide. Time to put all that training to good use, Alicia. I'm gonna go check on our... Perimeter for damage. Good luck. Okay, let's do work. Okay, did everything I needed to do. Uh -huh. Alicia, the road and the river look great, thank you. Oh, no. I noticed a lot of damage and weak points in the perimeter. The camp is not prepared for another landslide. I like to make sure it doesn't happen again. <clears throat> Where should we start? Let's plant some trees to repair some of the damage from the landslide. I'm gonna dig some holes for the seeds and let you take care of the actual planting. I'm not much of a gardener. You can do that. Here are some tree seeds. All right, I'll handle the planting and the watering. Well, see you around. Oh wow. Once the trees grow, the road should be more protected. My next concern is floods. Do you already have an idea? Actually, I do. I came up with it while you were finishing your planting. We're gonna make some sandbags and place them at Stardrick Star locations. <clears throat> Okay. That's a great idea. How can I help? Can you make the sandbags while I figure it out the best spots to put them? You'll need some fiber and brown sand. You must have gathered some while you were clearing the road. Yep. Well, see you around. Okay, I made the sandbags. Let's go bring them back to Mulan. Mulan! Here we go! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, Alicia. They're... These are perfect. Come with me so we can put them in place. It's always great talking to you. Uh -huh. 
I think this is the best spot for the sandbags. This should take this shouldn't take long. There. I think we're taking every precaution we can to protect the camp. Thanks again for your help, Alicia. You're a really valuable recruit. I guess the question now is, what's next? I'm not sure what to do. The trainees are gone. The camp is protected. I have a confession to make. Okay. I'm not really a re recruit. You're not? Then why are you here? Wait, are you a spy? I'm not a spy. I came from a place called Dreamlight Valley. It's this really nice val village with tons of great people. And I think you should come back there with me. There are plenty of adventure to be had. The villagers are all super interesting. Help me keep some questionable characters in line. There are plenty of adventures to be had. That sounds interesting. I suppose I have time to visit. And I'm always up for an adventure. We just need to make sure everything's alright with Mushu first. Okay, let's go talk to Mushu. We're in, a good sh we're in good shape, Mushu. Everything's under control. Phew! You are a lifesaver. Or should I say, a dragon statue saver. Ha! Pl planting trees, sandbags, great strategy. That landslide really shook things up, though. And like I always say, an ounce for an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. <clears throat> I don't really say that, but it sounded good, right? Anyways, there's a lot more prevention we can do. Uh, you want to stop future landslides? I like to say. Hakuna Matata. <gasps> I like to say Kuna Matata. Akuma ha. You know what? No worries. I don't need to know. It's time to focus. So I'm thinking what if we build a mini great wall to protect the road from future landslides? Well, I didn't pick up a lot. I did pick up a lot. Uh, well, I did pick up a lot of logs while we clean up the road. How about a fence? <laughs> Works for me. You you make the fence and I'll reap the area. We'll catch up reap? Later. What? Okay. I... <gasps> oh! I'm not crying, you're crying. I actually am crying. It's so pretty. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> okay. I'm done sobbing. I, I didn't sob. I, I'm done, like, tearing up. <laughs> it was so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> we made the wood, wooden fence. So now we got to put it up. Nice. You are in the, presence the fence is done. Ah, oh, I knew you could do it, Alicia. Hmm. Now it's time to, uh, Mulan, Mulan and I sent all our trainees off. Our statues are ready to be shipped out. Whew, I'm feeling fun. some feeling right now. Let's, uh, let's send a signal that the cargo's ready to be shipped out. I think you're gonna like this part, Alicia. Follow me. So long. Okay, let's go. Yay! Yeah, hey. yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
Such a beautiful moment, Steph. What? A strong dragon's not afraid to cry. Huh. Now I'm gonna wait here for the delivery wagon. Why don't you check with Mulan? See if there's anything else to do before we go. I'm okay. Out. Hello. Oh. I'm almost ready to go. I was just wondering, will there be a place for us to stay in your valley? Camping's fine while training, but if we'll be there a while, it would be great to have a house. And I'm sure Mushu would like that too. He doesn't exactly like roughing it. Sure, I could do that. Goodbye. Let's go and set up a house for them. I was thinking, where should I put them? I was thinking of putting them here in the village, but we also have the place... That we can take by boat. I guess you put them there. Oh, 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 oh. I know where we could put them. There's a place that has bamboo and stuff. That'd be like the perfect place. I think it's like the promenade. I think it's the promenade. Oh my god, that'd be like the perfect place because it has bamboo and it kind of reminds me of their where they're kind of living. Yes, this area. I think this would be perfect. Yes, okay. Let's put it right there. Yes. Hello. Okay. Yay! So pretty, oh my gosh. Welcome, Mulan. I love that. Hello. Whoa! I didn't know what to expect, but it wasn't this. This is really impressive, Alicia. And so beautiful. Thank you for bringing me here. I can't wait to start exploring. Oh, don't forget to go back for Mushu. He had one last surprise for you. It's something to celebrate finishing your training. I'm really glad you're here. I'll see you soon. Yep, I'll definitely go back for Mushu. Oh my god, I s it makes me s it makes me giggle every time I see this because it's so small. I'm so used to like a big thing, and now it's like a teeny tiny. Little marble. <laughs> so cute. Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh. I I know what this is. This is inside out. I don't know if it's inside out one or maybe it's inside out two because inside out two just came out. <clears throat> okay, anyways, let's go to Mushu. Hello. Our dragon masterpieces are off to protect China, and my to-do list is finished. Oh, oh, but you and me were not done. Alicia Mulan told me you're not a real recruit. Sorry for the deception. Are you mad? Huh. No. Yeah. A little disappointed at myself that I didn't see through it, but not mad. <clears throat> All that's to say... I'm ready for your valley, but if <clears throat> but is your valley ready for me? Thinking about it. Anyways, one last thing. Here's a little sur souvenir from me to you. Can you remember the start of our legendary friendship? Ooh. Ooh, statue. Mulan left a little something for you too. I just need to get the... Where... where's the key? What key? The what now? The what now? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The key. To open the chest where Mulan put the... I had it while we put the dragons in the wagon and I left camp to see I'm off down the road. Got a little lost. Went on a little nature walk. <laughs> Must have dropped it. That key's gotta be around there somewhere. I'll look for the key, Mushu. Don't worry. 
We'll catch up later. Okay. I'll go find the key. I found the key. Burn. Return to machine. Oh. Uh, well, uh, I was like, burn? What? No, it's return. Yes, yes, you found the key. Now follow me so I can show you the chest. I'm out. I love his little jumping. Like, look at him. He's so cute. Use the little lion's key to unlock the chest. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Talk to Bushi. Hello. Behold! A real defender sword to hang on your wall. It's like a super impressive certification that you finished your training. Congratulations, Alicia. And now, let's go to the valley. The great Mushu is ready. Oh, there's another thingy. Memory, memory, we got a memory. Yep, it's Inside Out. I haven't seen Inside Out 2 yet, and I really want to see it. Mushu! He's so tiny. Okay. Hey now, don't act like you don't see me. Hey, this place is nice. Almost feels like I've been here before. I can definitely see myself getting comfy here. You're gonna show me everything, right? Because you might not know this about me, but I'm kind of shy. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll make friends real fast. See ya, Alicia. Bye! Oh, we got this. I forgot about that. Oh my god, so nice. Oh, I'm gonna start a Mulan room in my in my house. I'm gonna go find a empty room. Also, I made this into a thing, and you can tell this is the monster's room because of the door. I don't know. Oh, this is. You can tell this is uh, frozen because of the door. This is Wally's room. Yeah, I I came and I start I worked on some of the rooms just like that, so it's a little bit different. This is, look at this, like you can tell that's the Lion King room. I want to do this with all the rooms, like the outside is going to be a certain door, so you know what room it is. Mulan, we got this. We got this. We got this, we got this, <laughs> and this, and then also a dragon of Mushu, a statue of Mushu. <laughs> so there we go. And of course we'll be getting more stuff with the new star path. So that's exciting. Speaking of, I did get some uh, tokens. I got 20. Ooh, I'm gonna get this hair. Yes. Okay. And then we got this. Nice. Okay. And we got a new thing already. Ah! Oh. oh my gosh. It's a... It's a, a crafting bench. Nice. I uh, probably won't ever use it because we all the way up here on the eighth floor. <laughs> but at least I have it. So we have a lot to do. Uh, I still have to do. Maybe we'll go back to where Rapunzel and them are and work on them. Because they came before everyone else. Uh, another thing, I kind of want to come in here. I was going to tell, um, I can actually teleport straight to where I need to go. But, since they have little statues in here with memories, I kind of want to look for them. So, so far they have been going up each level. So, I wonder if the next level is the, the that level. 
And then once this level is complete, they'll start branching off to the sides, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But let's go here. Rapunzel, what you doing? <laughs> I'm Hi. so excited you're here. Uh, let's hang out. Okay, so we're hanging out with Rapunzel. And then let's go get her some stuff that she might want. Okay, let's see what Rapunzel would want. Wrong button. Let's see. <clears throat> Characters. Rapunzel. She wants Princess Aurora Raspberry Cupcake, Shiny Tor- Yes. And Dark Wood. Okay. Ooh, next we get like a little Pascal thingy. Uh -huh. Hello. Uh, I have something to give you. Here you are. I'll give you. Here you go. Yay, she's level six. <gasps> Yee. <clears throat> Yay. Yes, I did get this rug and I did put it in her room. We're going to get a fireplace with the lights. I love that. I can't wait to put that in her room. Okay, we got that stuff. Let me put this stuff away now. So she is... Oh yeah, I forgot. I moved Wally here. Hi, Wally. <laughs> okay, so I think my top... I'm, I'm going to say top three. I don't think I have a top five kind of Disney thing. I might be wrong. But I, I has to be... I don't know. It's hard to decide what's my top number one because I love Rapunzel, I love Mulan, and I love Frozen a lot. Those are like my top three favorite movies. But who's number one? I don't know. I think it's Rapunzel, Frozen, Mulan. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, it's hard for me to pick who's top. But they are all really good movies. Um, if I had to have a top five. Okay, so it would be Rapunzel, Frozen, Mulan, Princess and the Frog, and what other movie? I can't think of anything else. Like, um, I don't think of- I can't think of a movie that stands out that's, like, really good. Okay. Banish the Forgetting. So, they were, like, super teeny tiny and now they're big. I don't know what happened with them, but they're back to normal. I don't know why they were super small suddenly. It was weird. But, they're nor back to normal now. Yeah, I'm trying to think of another princess movie that I really like, but it's not- Like, I did like Beauty and the Beast. But that was like, when I was much younger, I'm thinking more of like the newer... One, like newer princesses movies. I really do like, uh, Rocket Ralph, Penelope. I know that's not a princess movie, but she's technically a princess? Oh, okay. There's just a bag randomly floating here. What did we get? <laughs> Maybe I opened a chest and something popped up, didn't pop out, so I'm like, okay, well, whatever. And then they came back. Does that happen sometimes? I'll open a chest, nothing pop out, and I'll get on. And then it's on. It's there. It's like, okay. Money. I... <laughs> so, I put my, uh... Hourglass away. So, watch this. I'm gonna take my hourglass out. <laughs> and put it away. Take it out. 
that was funny. I don't like that when you do the bubble things, it doesn't add to their star thing to level them up. It doesn't... <clears throat> It doesn't move them up. It sucks. Okay. I played a game against her to get our friendship up. Okay. We're almost to level 7. I think we need to get to level 7 to get another quest from her. So, let's get to searching for things. Yay! She's finally leveled up to level 7. Yes. Yay, and she has something for us. Alicia, can I talk to you? It's about mother. What did she know? What did she do now? Oh. Well, this morning she came to the tower and she asked me to sing for her. I don't know how I feel about helping her now that I know she lied to me again. This time about the valley. And she hid uh, me away from the villagers. Oh. Singing for her, helping her with my magic hair, it feels strange. It feels like she's using you. I'll tell her to leave you alone. Let's put a curse on her. <laughs> feels like she's using you. Uh. Yes, I've barely seen her. Yes, I've barely seen her. And then she shows up only when she needs me. <clears throat> I don't think that's right. What if Mother Gothel didn't need your magic? If you didn't have to use, have to sing for her? Oh, that would be good, I think. Our <laughs> visits would certainly be different. I'm on the case. Good, good different. I hope so. First thing first, do you know where you can, do you know where you got your magic from? No. Mother said it's something I was born with, but she hasn't always been truthful with me. Maybe you could ask her? Good idea. Don't worry, Rapunzel. Whether you were born with it, your magic, or it came from somewhere else, I'll find a way. <clears throat> okay, let's go talk to Mother Gothel. Mother Gothel, I need to talk to you about Rapunzel. Oh, what is my precious flower up to today? Breaking more rules and shattering my heart. Why do you call her your flower? I heard you made her sing, escaping your control once and for all. Why do you call her your little flower? Hmm, oh, it's just a little pet name for her. My fragile, delicate, 
re rebellious little flower. Uh huh. And calling her flower has nothing to do with her magic when she sings for you. I have no idea what you're talking about, Alicia. Listen, I'm trying to find a way to harness Rapunzel's magic so she doesn't have to sing for you if she doesn't want to. <laughs> what a brilliant idea. I can't believe I ever thought of it. Oh, that's right. I did. I searched for answers for years. You know how much I would love to ind love independence for Rapunzel? Help me help you. Let's work together. I'll succeed where you failed. Uh, let's work together. Why would I waste my precious energy on a task I know is futile? So let me do it for you. Fire, very well. Rapunzel's magic comes from a rare bloom called the sun drop flower. Hmm. I might be able to find some petals if I use my hourglass. Where should I look? <clears throat> well, since you're feeling a so ambitious, take this. It's a map. I made of places the sun drop grew before they all dried up. Petals scattered to the wind. If you find any, which you won't, take the petals to someone skilled with magic. Perhaps they'll know what to do. Find the sun drop petals with the map and our glass take them to somewhere magical got it. Okay. Using the map, search eternal isles to find the sun drop petals with your hourglass. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I have no idea where to go. So using the map Search eternal hours to find the sun drop petals with your hourglass. Ooh, I found one. Nice. Okay, found one here. I I was having I'm having a hard time reading the map, but I guessed right, so that's nice. I had to get off I had to get off the game and back into the game because the game was glitched but it seems to be fixed now which is good so hello Capybara the game's been very glitchy so I'm not surprised that this is kind of glitched because it has been Messing up as you saw with the cabrera just magically appearing like a hey, sub Oh my gosh <laughs> I guess I already got the one next to the fall and I didn't know that uh, I don't know I couldn't remember which ones I've gotten which I haven't gotten but yeah, so I got the one by the fall. I got the one over there. The one that I didn't get was was, was in the oasis. The oasis. So I got the uh, one in the oasis. I got the one here in the west. I got. I guess I at some point got the one near the fall. I I th I think I remember getting it. I just. My brain is not working. Okay, I'm sorry. And then there's one down here, the overlook. So, yeah. I got it in the end. Let's go talk. Oh, hey. Hey, Ursula. I found some sun drop petals. Can you create an alternate the eternal sun drop charm for Mother Gothel. <laughs> well, well, Alicia, I have no idea you were Gothel's little errand minion now. I'm helping Rapunzel. Uh -huh. What does that blonde slip of seagrass have to do with this? 
Well, she wants to help Mother Gato, so I'm helping her search. That's all. I see. Just tell me what else we need to make the charm. Since you have the petal, it should be simple. Dream shards, every, 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 every gems that capture the light of the past. No. A few skeleton fish, and of course my payment. What do you want? Uh -huh. Rapun Rapunzel's secret. There's something special about that. Wait. Way fish, little guppy, and Gotho won't tell me what it is. You're just suspicious. That's no secret. That's not my secret to tell. It's up to Rapunzel to decide whether she wants to share or not. How sweet. Well, huh. if you're not going to provide payment, then leave. No payment, no charm. You know what? I've got the list of ingredients now. I bet I can make it this myself. Feeling like a big fish in a small pond, are we? Just remember, Gothel will be furious if you make even one little mistake. Guess I better make sure to get it right. Thanks, Ursula. You're not welcome. Ah. Okay. We got the charm. We got to bring it to Rapunzel. She's over here. Oh, there she is. Rapunzel, Rapunzel. Look at it. Really need to talk to you. Yep. Pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Is this your freedom from Mother Gothel? As long as she wears this, she won't need you to sing for her anymore. I can't believe you actually did it. Thank you so much. Will you give it to her right away? No, because you're going to do it. You need to speak your mind. I'll be right there with you. It's going to be... It's going to be good. Uh, what I do, you need to speak your mind. But I also be like, I want, I'm going to be with you. I'll be right there with you. You will? That will definitely help. Let's go find her. What's this? An internal sun drop charm? How? Charming. Thank you, dear. You can go. Um, mother, I've been thinking. Thinking someone ha as lovely as me doesn't need a charm. Tell me more, dear, darling. I want to say that I can't can't believe I've forgiven you for breaking all the rules and betraying my trust. That's not it. I just, I want, I mean, I don't want. Speak up, Rapunzel. You stop mumbling. You know how I hate the mumbling. I, I, I don't want to see you anymore. Unless it has nothing to do with my magic. Oh, aren't we independent? Very well. Go and have your fun, but you'll come crying to mother soon enough. Eh. I did it! My heart is pounding! I'm so proud of you. Are you feeling okay? That was intense. I'm so proud of you! I'm proud of me, too. I can't believe I really did it. I want to celebrate. Alicia, let's make a special campfire. This is the first time in my life I've been completely free, and I want to do something Mother took away from me. Of course, I can set up a campsite. This is going to be so much fun. Let's get some purple seating, some lighting, and maybe a few rustic decorations. I'm so excited. I'm free. I- oh, I almost forgot. I found this cozy fire pit since I knew I wanted a campfire. Here, take it. Oh, we're going to have such a good time. Woo! 
party time, party 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 time. I'm so happy for Rapunzel. Decorate a campsite area in the wild tangle. Cozy fire pit, purple seating, decorate decorative lighting, rustic decorations. Okay, so I came here so I can buy some stuff. Okay, so here's our little setup. I didn't know what to do, so I just put random things down. Oh, it's you. Hello. Talk? Oh, I didn't even read what she said. My bad. Go to the campsite you decorated with Rapunzel. Oh, this looks oh. even better than I imagined. Oh. I did my best. <laughs> you best is perfect. Alicia, I want to sing for you. Mother always made singing for others feel like a duty. Thanks to you, now I can do it just because I want to. In fact, you inspired me to write this song. Flowers, golden glow, this new world is mine. Write a brand new verse, now your heart can shine. I have been set free, now the stars align. Here in the valley, my fate is mine. My fate is mine. Goodbye. I'm so happy, Rapunzel. That's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna put these away. I'm gonna put down, away some of these things. But I think we're gonna keep the seat seating and the thing the. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna leave this as is, because this is really cute. And Rapunzel, what are you doing? <laughs> She's a glitching. She's a glitching. <laughs> okay, anyways. We did some to Rapunzel. That's nice. Okay, now that we got... We did some to Rapunzel. Now, let's do something with Evie. Evie! Ah, Evie! Hello. Uh, I have something to give you. How are you today? Giggle, giggle. You look so happy. Is it because Wally is here? You like the village? There are so many plants. Wally is here? Wally. Okay. Uh, let's hang out. Okay, let's go and get what Evie wants. Let's see what she wants for today. Oh yeah, I found this on my travels. I must have fed an animal, but it must have glitched and I didn't get it. Ooh, I got the shoe. I got the shoe. Okie dokie. What do you want, Evie? Ooh, she's really close to level- Oh! she ha She's only level 5? I thought she was farther than that. Okay, so she wants a topaz, purple- Fly trap and spinach. Don't know why she wants spinach, but hello. Yay, she's level five. Ooh, level five. Nice. Ooh. I have something to give you. Here you go. Okay, so she's also our glass. Okay, uh. Ooh, I know this. Highly family top mystery. So, what's this special? Ancient robots. What does the ancient robot do? Nothing, maybe? Quest. Oh, not quest. Ancient. Yes. I want to make basic ancient. Ancient book. Cooker. I want to make some of these things. Basic ancient vacuum. Okay, we're going to make a cooker. I'm going to make a regular ancient cooker. Okay, so we got basic ancient cooker. 
then we can upgrade it to a regular ancient cooker. We can we got a basic ancient gardener, but I can upgrade it. And then the basic ancient vacuum, and then you can upgrade it again. So I'm gonna upgrade this and upgrade this. And then you can advance ancient cooker, advance ancient gardener. I don't know what the vacuum does. I'm curious about what the vacuum does. Ooh! Uh, get crafty. I did that. I made all these. What do they do? <laughs> Okay, we got some coins. We can get some rewards. I can get only this one. Boopers. Okay, so the thing is, I don't know what each of those things do. Okay, we got an ancient cooker, which I'm assuming cooks. And this is the gardening one, but what does the vacuum do? Ancient vacuum. The ancient vacuum scans an area in a biome for night thorns and splinters of fate. Upgrade it to detect even more item types. Select the desired item and collect them from a single location. Cost myths. Oh, okay. Level three. Collect all active items. Select all. Oh. That's pretty cool. I think I want to take that one with me because I want to use it for back home. So let's go back to the house. I will make some for this area eventually. Okay, so I want to put the vacuum here. Ooh. Select all. That, that, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm definitely going to make more of those vacuums. Cause like, you can just go up to it and be like, hey, pick up this stuff for me. And that is awesome. Maybe I won't do that one for this one yet. But I will make one for this eventually for the pumpkin patch. And that's the end of this video, you guys. I guess uh, past Alicia got too tired to do the outro and left it to future me to do the outro. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you beautiful night wolves in the next video. Goodbye. Don't you know that you